Hello and welcome to another update video about ETH. Here on the daily ETH chart, you see the overall bullish perspective that I have on the Ethereum chart. Um, disregard the timeline. I mean, if it carries on like that, I will have to shift it all um, over to the left. And yeah, the overall scenario for Ether on the daily chart is obviously bullish. We talked about that. We should see the price in the bull market get to 8 to 12K. I mean, maybe even higher, but that's sort of what I can realistically see now and defend now as a... Um, wave count and scenario it, it might always you know sometimes they go higher uh, extensions are always possible but it is sort of the idea that we get into the region around 8 to 12k and um, this is sort of broadly the pathway that ether should be following so at the moment we are here in circle wave three then we should get away four five of three then another four five and another four five and then we are basically there uh, that's sort of what i can see right now that you know that might change along the way it's actually quite likely to change but it's helpful to have that roadmap. I mean, these are not static. They are dynamic, like the price, you know, in the markets. So it's um, usually worth um, having a roadmap and then obviously adjust if the market makes it necessary and tells us we have to, but at the moment it's all good. Um, what we changed most recently was just here the subwave structure because it was more aggressively bullish than, um, not necessarily than I thought. I mean, we gave you two scenarios, right? So it was about, okay, do we get a larger one-two setup here or do we go more aggressively bullish? It did choose the more aggressively bullish pathway, um, something that we always have to be ready for in third waves. Uh, no pullback anymore here. So there was a pullback, but it was bought up and straight away we carry on higher. So let's take a look at the shorter time frame wave count. Here you can see this is the basically just zoomed in just below circle wave three here. Here, yeah. So we could just be working on this last wave here to the upside, wave five of circle wave three. And in wave five, um, there are two possibilities. So on the one hour chart, so basically my daily chart remains valid as long as the 2,924 level is holding. That's the 50% Fibonacci retracement. Uh, as long as that level is holding, we can watch for another high, yeah, in wave five of circle wave three. Absolutely. Um, so again, if we break below that level, yeah, you know, I have to change the wave count, change the scenario, probably have to, to assume circle wave three is already in, but that is not the, um, but that is not the preferred scenario. I think we should still go a little higher in wave five of circle wave three. Okay. Looking at the ETH chart. Um, one hour. So on the one hour chart, we are dealing with a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, four. I mentioned yesterday this could turn into a triangle. It seems to be doing that, but um, we don't really have enough waves in place to confirm a triangle. But it seems like a high sideways consolidation above micro support. So there is micro support between 3610 and 3786. And the 38.2 retracements. Yeah is at 3,718, um, then 3,663, 3,610. These are the next levels, right? Only below 3,610, I have to assume that the white count, which allows for one more high here in wave five of five of three, possibly to just above 4K, that this scenario will change, possibly morph into the yellow count. The yellow count still has a chance then. This is simply another form of extension in um, wave five of circle wave three. It's just a different form of extension that is a little bit more bullish, but also more difficult to grasp because it would be a larger diagonal. In this scenario, wave one would be a three wave move, wave one of five, and then we would get a wave two, wave three would be an ABC, wave five would be an ABC and so on. Uh, we might go a little bit higher then possibly into the 4,500 region. So in to keep it very simple, as long as the Tuesday low is holding, it is a reasonable expectation for the price to get to 4 to 4.5k next. The question is, is it the white count or yellow? At the moment, the chart seems to be cooperating more with the white microstructure. One second, didn't want to move everything. Um, which basically allows for just one more tiny high here before then circle wave three is done. But it might change a little bit. So we'll see. Why, even yellow, I mean, yellow just means if we break below micro support, we can still consider yellow. Um, a high consolidation like that would not rule out yellow. So it could still be that we grind higher according to the yellow count, but yellow allows for a deeper pullback. Doesn't need to pull back um, stronger in the yellow count, 
but it allows for a deeper pullback in a, in a more extended yeah five wave pattern so basically 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 um this is the structure and as long as we're holding support there is nothing um to mention and if we so basically we've got upper support and lower support a break below the upper support does not change the overall bullish thesis for ETH. Yeah? It is just a break of micro support. That's pretty normal in crypto. It's just a support level. It's not a concrete floor or anything, right? It's just a support. But as long as it's holding, the focus can be on higher. You can use these FIP levels to see if there are any reactions. And if a triangle occurs from here and unfolds from here, then a break above 3,900 would be would suggest that wave five of five is unfolding yeah that's my update about eth hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye